Charles Darwin, mostly famous for the evolution theory, was a brilliant man. But did you know he wasn't sure about it? Charles Darwin was born in a big family. His parents had six children, but did financially very well. His father, Robert Darwin, was a physician, a well-paid job. His mother, Susanna Witchwood, had a very wealthy grandfather. Susanna Witchwood was part of a very wealthy family with a pottery company started in 1730 and was passed on for eight generations. Darwin was a man who loved his children and his wife. He married Emma Wedgwood, his niece. Together with his wife, they had ten children. One of them, also named Charles, died at age two. He wasn't too sure about getting married though. He made a list with pros and cons about marriage. Charles and his wife both lost three children in total due to illness and the remaining children lived in bad health. Taking in consideration that he married his first line niece, the biological dysfunction that comes from this was not in his favor. Against all odds, the oldest child of Charles and Emma was Leonard Darwin, who died at age 93. Have you seen Harry Potter's owl? He's been missing for over a week. Let's ask Darwin if he knows more about it. To go against what many people believed in that time, and Charles going against it, you could see him as an adventurer for that. Well, this adventurous man once ate an owl. He stated that the taste of it was quite indescribable. It's a controversial question. Was Hitler inspired by the theory of evolution to remove all who didn't fit according to him? Hitler believed that he was helping the survival of the fittest. He thought that the German people were the superior race. Therefore, he wanted to speed up the growth of evolution. Even though he himself did not have blue eyes or blonde hair, Darwin wrote many notes as part of his theory on a trip to South America, Africa, Australia and the Galapagos Islands. He was offered that trip by the captain of the HMS Beagle. After a while, the captain was irritated, because Darwin wanted to stop on every island to make more notes. The entire trip was supposed to last two years but turned out to be five years instead. Although he did reject the Bible as an accurate historical source and the idea of a god, his theory did not contradict the Bible in a way. The church popularized the idea of the fixity of the species, meaning that animals are what they are and don't change in any way. As you know, there are many kinds of one type of animal, like dogs. Many people at that time thought that the Bible said this. While he was on a sailing trip for almost five years, he did get seasick. That's possibly one of the reasons he wanted to go see every island he saw, to get off that ship that's been moving up and down. Although, unfortunately for him, he continued having this illness for the rest of his life. By far the most famous book he wrote was The Origin of Species. He even wrote a total of 204 books in his life. He wasn't so sure about publishing his book, but an admirer convinced him to do so. He feared the response of the others, who would lose their respect for him. He described it all as living in hell. 
What they don't teach you at school is that Darwin himself said that he's not sure about the evolution theory. He stated that if there's evidence that all life on Earth cannot have one ancestor, his theory is wrong. And so it was proven that his theory had flaws and that giraffes and birds, for example, cannot have the same ancestor. 